Hello, Mr. Zonka here, and this video is on multiplying polynomials. First off, let's cover some vocabulary. In math, a polynomial is an expression that can have constants, like 4, variables, like 3x, and exponents, like 2x squared. A term refers to a single number of variable, or product of numbers and variables. Terms are separated by addition or subtraction. A monomial is a polynomial with one term, for example, 5x. A binomial is a polynomial with two terms, for example, 3x to the third power minus 4. And a trinomial is a polynomial with three terms, example, x squared plus 7x minus 12. To help us out a little bit with multiplying polynomials, we're going to be making area models. Here we've got uh, two rectangles. We uh, both have a width of 2. And we've got a length of x and a length of 7. So if we were going to find the area of this, uh, we would do 2 times x plus 7. Because this whole length here is x plus 7. That would be written as a product. Now if we wanted to write this as a sum, we would want to find the area of each individual rectangle. The area of this first rectangle is 2x. That's 2 times x, and the other rectangle is 2 times 7, which would be 14. So if we want to write this as a sum, that would be 2x plus 14. You might notice that that is the same thing if we distributed this product, 2x plus 14. Here's our second example. First, I'm going to fill out the rectangles. Looks like we've got x times 2x. That's 2x squared. 1 times 2x. That's 2x. x times negative 3 is a negative 3x. And 1 times negative 3 is negative 3. Our product would be the area of the big rectangle. In this case, x plus 1. That is our width right here. x plus 1 times 2x minus 3. And that would be our product. Now if we wanted to find the sum, we want to add each of these rectangles together. Here we've got 2x squared. We're going to start with that. Then I notice that we have a negative 3x and a 2x. Since those are like terms, we can combine those. Negative 3x plus 2x would be the same as minus 1x. And lastly, we have this negative 3. There's no like terms with that, so we can just tag that on to the end. Minus 3. These area models are helpful for us to visualize how we can multiply polynomials. But eventually, we want to do those without drawing area models, so let's get to a few examples of that. And to do this, we're going to multiply each term of one polynomial to each term of the other polynomial. In our area model, that represent, that's represented by the small rectangles. Then we can combine all like terms. Example 1. We've got 5x times x minus 3. This should look like a normal distribution problem like we've done in the past. 5x times x is 5x squared. 5x times a negative 3 or minus 3 would be minus 15x. So we've written that product as a sum that is equivalent. Let's look at example 2. 2x two plus 3 times x minus 4. In this case, the 2x is going to multiply to the x, giving us 2x squared, and the negative 4, which would be a minus 8x. That second term, 3, is going to also multiply to the x, giving us a plus 3x, and to the negative 4, giving us a minus 12. It looks like we can combine these like terms, the negative 8x and the 3x. That would give us a final answer of 2x squared, negative 8 plus 3 is going to be a negative 5x, and then we've got that minus 12. And this would be our sum of 2x plus 3 times x minus 4 multiplying each term in the first by each term in the second. 
Here's our last one. If you want to give it a shot on your own, go ahead and pause the video and then see if you get it correct. Okay, here we have 2x minus 2 multiplied by x squared plus 5x plus 1. This first term, 2x, is going to multiply to the x squared, giving us 2x to the third. Multiply to the 5x, giving us 2x times 5x. 2 times 5 is 10. x times x is x squared. And then 2x times 1, which would just be plus 2x. Our next term, negative 2 times x squared, would be negative 2x squared. Negative 2 times 5x. Negative 2 times 5 is negative 10. And then we've got the x. And negative 2 times 1 is just going to be minus 2. 2 times 1 is 2. From there, it looks like we've got like terms 10x squared and negative 2x squared. We've also got like terms 2x and negative 10x. So when we read our equation, rewrite our equation, we'll combine those. We've got 2x to the third, no like terms for that. Then we've got that 10x squared minus 2x squared. That's going to give us minus 8, oh sorry, plus 8x squared, because 10 minus 2 is 8. Then we've got the plus 2x minus 10x. 2 minus 10 is going to be minus 8x. And lastly, we've got that minus 2. And there's our sum. Okay, everyone, I hope this video was helpful.